ladies and gentlemen on the line i have hoover ken what up hoover ken what's going on big i ah man nothing much man thanks for joining the program yeah, man, I'm glad to be here. From what yeah, I understand, yeah. GDs, BDs, you know, et cetera, were, you know, out in Houston before Crips and Bloods. Is, is yeah, that, is that safe know, to they, say? They, 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 yeah, they took over. They, they ran the city for a minute. They ran the city like my own. Um, like on my side of town. So we just, you know, that's all it was, BDs and GDs. Shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, Headache D and all of them. Supreme and all them, shout out to them boys. They ran the they ran the southwest from the eighties all the way to the to the nineties when the uh, to the eighties to the seventies to the eighties when Christian blood started coming through. Hmm. So it was about the eighties. Most when... people would tell you that. Go ahead, go ahead, keep going. Most people would, yeah, most people would tell you about the seventies and eighties how GDs was GDs and BDs was running the Houston, especially on the south side. Uh, the most lived dead blood hood in the southwest side of Braveswood. And he's ready to the point of time. Excuse me, my friend. Okay. How did how did Houston, to the best of your knowledge, obviously, how did Houston take to the L.A. gang culture? Oh, uh, man. Plenty of, them, uh, plenty of OGs down here. Up there, came from down here. Shout out to man. You know, there's a lot of them. Man and them. Cool, cool, did all of them. You got you shout out to them boys because them boys, it wasn't for them. Hey, it wouldn't been possible. Okay. So, would you say today there there are more GDs and BDs or more Crips and Bloods in Houston? Oh man, I would say there's more Crips and Bloods in Houston. Now. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's a, it's it flipped out here. Okay, it flipped. What uh? What neighborhood are you from exactly? Tell everybody. I know, but I, let everybody know. I'm from side with Sam Piper, ten four hundred. Okay. You know what I noticed? The last dude we had on, um, who was from Houston, he named his apartments also. Like his is that a, is that a thing in in Houston? Like that you actually what, named, named apartments? Yeah, he he was from Acre Home Acres Homes, and he that, that was yeah he he, he it's, it's it's something you just say because you know some people some people brought up in his uh, in apartment, some people brought up in neighbor uh, in, in houses homes. And they was, you know, I was about to pull my Reese you know. Okay. But you know this whole that whole sandpaper, they just they just throw it on where is it? Gotcha. Now you have you you, you go by Hoover Ken and you have the five deuce replacing the zeros. Are, is is that mean you're affiliated with the five deuce Hoovers? No, I, I, that's why I buy. That's why I grew up on it. Gotcha. See, okay, that's okay. what. I, yeah, okay. Because usually out here, when someone asks you what neighborhood or what hood you're from, they'll straight up you know say such and such crip or such and such blood. But I, I think it's interesting, you know, that that um, that Houston, the, at least the two people I've interviewed, you and the other person, you mentioned your yeah. your you know where you like your your apartment or whatever first, and then you know then it's then it's Hoover. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's interesting, man. Yeah. Um, all right. So Five Deuce Hoover obviously started out here in L.A. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Five Deuce Hoover. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but are they the only ones? Are they the ones that stuck with the Crip card? Yeah, we the only ones that's on the crib. Everybody else, they criminal. Yeah. Is the only one that's on the crib. You got gangster crib, you got crib game. So, you know, that's me. I'm on, I'm on crib game. Okay. I'm going to trace them. I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back at my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, now I do it enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a west straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart, I'ma sleep, I'ma fold. But she said she love me, she wanna hug me, and but she starts getting told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain, and everything gon' be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline, and I'll be biding my time till I can ride the wave. Then everything gon' be okay, yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage 
Cause what could we do while Rome is collapsing? But not in a day, we'll be okay. Let's hit the off your Jackson. No pull up the map then, cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses. Don't care what they're posting. You know, you only see what they show you. Let's fall off the grid then, cause we don't owe nothing to no one. Darling, just listen, and it'll be just like starting over. I spy with my little mind's eye. Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain. Everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Get kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely my girl is by my side, my gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce on your memory, every time I blaze a tree Voices in my head keep on urging me Tell them about the story, hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of town estate Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride, a mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay Let me ask you, what year? Uh, how old were you when you got put on? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Take me back to that day, man. Did you get jumped in? Did you uh, t t talk to me about what happened? Twelve years old. I, I never forget it, bro. Twelve years old. My nigga. Uh, what my OG? Uh, who? Was out there. My OG and Sid. He was out there. My OG really. My, my OG really taught me down to get in. But we been riding with these niggas for a little while. You know, we've been. And they face it, be running with them, get leased with them, and I'm coming home with these people. I don't know, man, get in. So I was like, fuck it, you know what it is, what it is, go and jump it in. I went my 52. I lived my, lived my three, 52, went that 52, and went all in. I ain't never forget it, because after day after day, it's crazy, because the, the, that same day, I didn't know what my homeboy was doing. My homeboy flying up a shirt, and I smoked that bitch. That smoked that bitch right after his ass. I was like, "Damn, I'm fucked up." Oh shit! Some water. Some water. Damn, G. Whew. And you were that? You were twelve. You, said, you were twelve at that time. I was twelve. Woo. I was twelve at that time. <laughs> yeah. I never forget it. Damn, G. How did that make you feel? Man, it fucked me up. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause it, <laughs> it fucked me up for a little bit. You know, I started, started smoking one. I stopped that shit because I feel like that shit wasn't for me. Mm. And I'm going to tell you that shit wasn't for me until they really ain't shit. I'm going to tell you the truth. That shit wasn't for me. I ran it. Nigga, I'm like, like this. Like, the first day I smoked that bitch, I jumped the fence. I damn near killed myself. Oh, damn. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anybody who grew up in certain neighborhoods knows the smell of Sherm. You, you, if, once you smell oh, it, you can't. Man, that's one half ass meal, bro. Ooh, I can smell it right now. Like, comparable to Ooh, chitlins. I huh? don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. 
Damn. Okay. So twelve years old, you got put on. What what um ages would you say you were you were most active? Oh, shit. I'm still acting. Okay. I I ain't as active as much as I was when I was yesterday. I'm not but from twelve all the way to shit, twenty six, I was active. Okay. Yeah, that's a long stretch. Man. I ain't really slowed down. I ain't I ain't really slowed down from this. You know, what I'm saying, I stood back and really looked at it until I was twenty six. Mm. Yeah, and that's 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 uh, to to make it to twenty six. Being a, a gang member is love. Oh man, it's a blessing. You said, I, went, yeah. I went from I went from to penitentiary with it, you know. Damn, dog. What was your longest stretch in the in the pen? Oh, my pen. I did when I did I did eight years flat in the pen. Ouch, man. What what was the the um, conviction? Oh, uh, shit. Some bullshit really on the cool. I got lied. I got lied to. Uh, lied, lied to for my baby mama. Her, her daddy sent me to jail. Damn. Oh shit. On guard. Yeah. Damn, that's fucked up, man. So when you uh, so when you go to prison, you know, as an active gang member, you know, talk to everybody. What's the what What's the situation like? What do you you know? what I'm saying. What do you uh? Do? I mean, say I ain't gonna lie. When you first step foot in that penitentiary and you gang bang, you gotta let them people know you this what this what you're doing. What was your longest stretch in the in the pen? Oh, my pen. I did. Well, I did. I did eight years flat in the pen. Ouch, man. What What was the the um conviction? Oh, uh, shit. Some bullshit, really, on the cool. I got lied. I got lied to. Uh, lied to for my baby mama. Her, her daddy sent me to jail. Damn. Oh shit. On guard. Yeah. Damn, that's fucked up, man. So when you uh, so when you go to prison, you know, as an active gang member, you know, talk to everybody. What's the what what's the situation like? What do you you know what I'm saying? What do you uh do? I mean say I ain't gonna lie, when you first step foot in that penitentiary and you gang bang, you gotta let them people know you this what this what you're doing. You ain't gonna point you to the direction where your family is. If you say you if you say you're banging crib, they're gonna let you know where your crib niggas at. You gonna say you see how your family you gonna you gonna ask them you gonna fade your heart what check is in the penitentiary, they're gonna see if you're gonna ring for you not. And you're for shit, they gonna get you going. And you gotta keep this shit out your mouth. Mm. Yeah. When you were you locked, was it in, in Texas where you were uh, locked up? Yeah, it's in Texas. Oh, okay. So down there, do the do all the blacks stick together, or is it on site with Crips and Bloods in there? Like, what's the situation uh, with the black people? In the penitentiary, it's, it's, it's blacks it's, it's black together, but you know, we still have our inside, you know, we still have our inside, outside beef with each other, but. In the penitentiary, it's all is one. Mm. If you black and shit, we're going to ride with you. you know, as long as you're going to ride for yourself. See, if you don't ride for yourself, then that's a different story. You got to ride for yourself before you want somebody to ride with you. Mm. Okay. Who really runs the, the Texas prisons when it comes to gangs? Like Mexican, Blacks and Mexicans. Blacks and Mexicans, yeah. Blacks and Mexicans. Pretty even, huh? They don't run any, other, any penitentiary in the United States of America. Yeah. Yeah, damn. Well, shit. Uh, all right, damn. So eight years. So, um, and you said you went to you, you you probably went to jail and all that as well. Yeah, I went to youth prison and everything. Oh, okay. What was the the roughest? Was was prison harder? Was jail harder? Shit. Was the youth authority harder? What? In, in when you look back now, what was the the worst mm. thing for you? As far as the as far as what the the hard head, just the hard, just the harshness, head. just the harshness doing time, the whole situation, everything. The penitentiary, because you know, in the penitentiary, you got some of them guards, and they don't try to fuck over you. You know, they don't give a fuck about nobody, mm. but they still, because they go home every night. See, but like I tell people, you, see, like I tell them guards, see, you can't come here trying to run something and think we gonna go, think we gonna apply to that shit because now we need to understand it. We gotta stay here. We live here twenty four seven. We're not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Y'all be here for eight, twelve hours, so that means. Yeah, we gonna function this in your room, so we have to. But all they trying to drag a nigga and all that shit—that's you know, not gonna go down because hey, at the end of the day, we gotta see this person. We gotta look that person in the face every day, all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you know without getting anybody in, you know incriminated, obviously? But what's the craziest thing you saw in prison? Shit. <laughs> all that money, all that money we had in that thing. The money. I wouldn't have too much money. In that's there. crazy, man. Yeah, that's that's nuts, man. Yeah, 
That's too. We had too much money. Huh. Interesting. Too much money. You you thought you would think we, if you was in that, you would think that we, <laughs> you be in a free world. But like I tell people, the penitentiary ain't nothing but a world inside of a world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We get everything. We we get everything that got in the outside and the inside. Only thing we buy it, it ain't too much fucking going on with different guards with these with these female guards. But you get so you get so you get a couple, you know, pay them hoes, whatever, <laughs> sucking and fucking whatever. But other than that, it ain't too much. Ain't too much of that. But all the contraband, the drugs, the weed, the drugs, the gun. I mean, the drugs, the phones, all that shit, knives. They gonna they gonna have them there. Yeah. And, and most of it probably comes through the COs and the, the workers and yeah. things like that, right? Yeah. Yep. I told her I loved her. She said she wanna see the city bus She don't wanna ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out it's the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go. We bout to the road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. control. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now the dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders, contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues. Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Well, shit, as someone who spent time in prison, I don't know if you were in a relationship with someone on the outside or whatnot, but um, would you say it's it's 
harder to have a female on the outside or easier to have a female on the outside? I mean, see, when I tell people about this relationship, I'm like, you know, when you're in the penitentiary and your girl is home, you got to understand what's really going on in front of you. You got to understand everything as a whole. See, a lot of people, a lot of men, this shit, when they think their girl not going to, you know, not going to get no, no dick in there, man. Nothing like that. They don't have that shit miscrewed because at the end of the day, you can't stop a fucking thing. If that girl want to get that pussy scratched on, she going to get it, yeah. first and foremost, because she ain't nothing you can do about it. And it's mm-hmm. that you got to accept it, but shit, at the end of the day, nigga, you got to accept it because guess what? Nigga, you got to put it about yourself, man. You got to do your time until your time is up, shit. You got to let her do her bitch shit. If she come back, if she come back, she for you. I did see it. You know what it is after that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fuck. Yeah, I'd be going crazy in there, so I think I would have to break up with the bitch because... Yeah, you're going... Know, sometimes that's the best choice because you try to worry about what the bitch doing, I think it's going to drive you. It's going to drive you insane, man. Yeah. Especially when you get them, when you get them phone calls, she be like, and she be in her fitness, and she be like, nigga, I don't even want to fuck with you no more. You're going to fuck you up because you hold on to this woman so tight because, shit, that's the only thing you probably... Probably that's the only thing you do right there. Well, shit, man, I want to move, move on to music a little bit. If you don't mind, I want to chat oh, about... Oh, man. I want to chat about some music, <laughs> homeboy. But specifically a couple of stories that have been... Um, and, and then I'll give you a chance to promote, you know, everything um, that you have going on at the end of the show. But uh, specifically a couple of stories involved in hip-hop. We just lost FBG Duck. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he was a Chicago drill rapper. Are you familiar with the man, whole you know, Chicago a, drill scene? Not too much. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah, I'm not yeah. a big fan of the new... I'm not a big fan of these cats that's rapping these days because, shit, they really ain't talking about the fucking thing. The pistols and fucking other niggas bitches and shit like that and jury and shit. Like, hey, you know, it's yeah. good to hear that shit, but, you know, at the end of the day, shit, we ain't talking about mm-hmm. Well, shit, let's, let's move on to something else that I know you have an opinion on. Even though you don't like his music, I'm going to guess you don't like his music. I don't think anybody <laughs> likes his music, even though this dude gets millions of views. But, you know, as somebody, as somebody who spent uh, eight years in, pr- in prison... You know, uh, what are your thoughts on somebody like a Takashi Six Nine? Man, I don't. Man, I bet I never talk about no weak ass nigga like him on go. <laughs> I bet I never let that nigga come to my name. Lord, fuck that nigga, that nigga clown, whole snitch. There you I go. I don't fuck with him. I don't fuck with him. I'm not telling you, bro. If niggas in the city, if it niggas in Texas or city, these niggas been got popped on go. Mm-hmm. Not that criminal ain't nobody. Not that we still don't know on that man, but see. On the real, in the city, if he was in the U, the thing got touched. I don't know what the nigga doing out there, but out here, they don't play them kind of games. Yeah, he came in there trying to talk mad shit to uh, Jay Prince. Yeah, he can't. Can, can. Somebody think you tough, man. You just got to snitch in the whole organization. Fuck you, look like. <laughs> yeah, he's crazy, man. <laughs> blood niggas out here. These blood niggas out here, they square business about their blood and power rules. They square business. Mm. Rock with it, you going to get rocked over. You know what I'm saying? Talking to them niggas. I don't know. I don't do no disrespect to those no I give it. That's I get it. You dig what I'm saying? But yes, I absolutely. Yeah. He came out here to L.A. and did a show, but it was it was like a super duper, you know, white people, rich, some rich person. And, that, see, and not that, to, not, and not to this, not to, and not to this, this now kind of white culture and shit, because, you know, they got, they, they got to say so too, but at the end of the day, you know, that's all they have to play because they don't know the, I don't think they know the inside of here all of it. Or how that shit make or how that shit make somebody feel. You know, you got some white people that know how this shit is, like, yeah, my nigga, my nigga got switched on, he doing time, that shit fucked me up. Some people know how this shit is. But a lot of you white people don't well they don't. They don't know how this shit is. They just they just feeling his music and that's it. I don't you know, hey, to each his own. Yeah, yeah. And my point is he he did that show, man, he got the fuck out from what I understand. He and it, he, he gonna have to because yeah. them niggas gonna them niggas gonna slaughter that nigga, man. Yeah, <laughs> they got them. Them California blue ain't gonna have that shit. They gonna put that nigga on a poster board. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And this was obviously before he went to jail. This is like, or this was like two years ago. Yeah, they gonna. Ha- yeah, man. This, man, they gonna put that man on a poster board, man. That's what I know. Or a mute. Oh shit! Hello. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, sorry. I think we lost you just for like 10 seconds. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they, you said they'll put them on the poster board. Yeah. Or uh, on a mute card. Uh, uh, to it. And saying, have you seen me? <laughs> well, shit, my last question for you, man, and I want to, um, like I said, give you a chance to pr- promote anything you have going on. But 
uh, up and coming uh, up and coming rapper Pop Smoke, New York Crip rapper, was recently R. killed. R. P. Cuz, man. R. Yeah, yeah, R. They, R. yeah. They were saying that he was gonna be the next, you know, the next big thing. Um, my my question for you, you know, since you dabble in music and whatnot, what is your opinion on how gang members with, you know, rappers with gang ties, how they should move when they're in different cities? I mean, see, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no way how you should. See, you should move accordingly wherever you at. Accordingly, that's just that's just way of life. Period. You, yeah, that's just way of life. You can't go out there and let the hood think you're gonna run something. That's not how it's gonna go, Papa. Because you got some square business niggas in every hood in America. Mm. You got square business, so you can't come out there. You can about home or run some shit or anything like that. Because shit, it don't go down like that. You, you see these young cats out here today. They trying to make money for themselves. About yeah, man. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, shit, man. Um, it's definitely been a pleasure, man. Where can everybody find you? And first off, what what do you got going on over there? Oh, man. You know, I'm just doing a little bit of promotion for my boys, man. Man, you shout out to Cuz. You know, Cuz only twenty. You know, that's my baby. I don't give a fuck if you roll it to me or not. That's my baby. I, I kill a doctor. That's my nigga. Yeah. His cousin, my OG. So, with him, with that, with, with that being said, that's my nigga. So, I'm going to hold on. No. Shout out to my nigga, Wayne D. Wayne D, he over to him. He going he gonna to put on the shine. Pop C, he uh, RP Pop C, you know. Mm. But Pop, you no know, Pop, he he, he going to put on for the city. So, you know, there's a lot of people out here doing that best shit. I just have a little bit. I don't know. I was like, how to duck ass. Yeah, do you want to give any? Um, do you want to give any uh, Instagrams or anything like that of anybody who you want to give some shine to? Uh, you know, just my people don't like this, so we ain't even promote that kind of shit. So good. shit, I like not that. Saying, not saying, not saying, not saying that my niggas stiff like that. I just don't, you know. I actually appreciate that a lot that. more, man. To be honest with you, I, the last five minutes of my show is usually shout outs and Instagrams and shit like that. So this is refreshing, homie. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, my people don't lie to me. So, you know, I'm going to go and just keep it basically the same, man. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my organization, man. All hoovers, man. If it wasn't y'all, I wouldn't be here today, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to them boys, man. That's what's up, Hoover Ken. Well, it's been a pleasure, homeboy. I hope we can do this again. You stay safe out there in Houston, and I'll definitely talk to you soon, all right? Hey, man, stay, stay safe out there in California, man. I know they deadly out there, man. You yeah. take it easy, man. Thanks, Playboy. Have a good one. You too, cuz. All right, peace. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes her teeth I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week I have a friend who's married but he still be fucking bitches And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching I remember, hold up, sorry I forgot to mention I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention To get attention I would always used to get detention Getting suspended was my only life's mission my little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied Working 60 hours a week, trying to stack cheese Ignoring texts from my family members every week I'm a deadbeat cousin, missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down. Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh slow motion Slow down. Take your time and focus. Sip the potion. Oh, slow motion. Yo, yo, yo. I write rhymes for the masses. Introductory classes. Bringing you up to speed. Can't see. Go get your glasses. We gon' mix it with the little honey jack. Got the cherries at the bottom. You know I be getting that. So much going on in the world today. I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate. Let me fly in the sky like birds. I'm using my imagination to script it with the words. So let's blow clouds. I'm sending you much love. I'm held down by gravity. My spirit is up above. Hop in the sky, take a ride with me. 485 horsepower, hit me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset. Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet. I bet it was another who wanted to shine, but I'm two steps beyond, baby. This my time. It's my down. Take your time and focus. Sip the potion. Oh, slow motion. 
slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor Incoherent, sober up, then I do it again Check me out Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play this game to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion